hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please press on the subscribe button below subscribe and turn on your notification so any video that comes out on this platform you'll be notified so guys i'm sure you guys already know what i'm about to discuss on this channel and um you know Lizzie and Jerry got married some days back and I wish her a big congratulation and happy married life. But, you know, after the marriage, after the wedding thing, there are some things now. Some women have been coming out on social media claiming that Lizzie and Jerry is husband snatcher. Claiming some even snapped their, the picture with their adult children. Claiming that her husband, Lizzie and Jerry's husband, allegedly is the father of those children and is his wife so and again there is this news alleged news that says that lizzie Anjuri is a sixth wife of this particular man she got married to she's the sixth wife and when lizzie Anjuri came out the reason why i can't really doubt this alleged like i felt is true is because Lizzie herself come out to clear the hair and say that if you know you have child for my husband and you claim he's my husband's child, let's go for DNA. And if the DNA proves is my husband's child, my house is big enough to accept them. They are all welcome. So now guys, what do you think about this whole thing now? What do you think about it? Because I kind of I can't place it like I'm kind of confused. Because the Lizian Jory, I know her, cannot even involve herself in that kind of complicating marriage. And um, due to what she told us, what she said on social media, she said they have been together for 14 years. Now, my question is that what was she doing? What were they doing for the past 14 years? They refused to get married. What were they doing? What was delaying them for the past? Why is it that is now she felt that she got married? Why? Number one, two. Do you think because kind of should we say those people coming out on social media claiming she's husband snatcher and everything? Do you think they are lying or they are saying the truth? Because guys, I actually felt that it's not one woman, it's not two women, no. And the guy is a Muslim. Islamically, is allowed. So I can't really say that is is the lie. Because when the day when they post this picture of a wedding day is on the comment section below on my Facebook page, uh, there's one particular lady that posts this same guy picture and uh someone she know and a lady claiming mentioning his name, call his name, and the woman that is the woman he shared that picture together as his wife saying that is his wife even before this alleged started coming out and the way that person commented and posed that picture it seems she really know the family so well so i really don't think it's a lie i think it's the truth and for lizzie to come out and kind of say that hey if you have husband with my child we are we are I'm happy about it our house is big enough kind of so it makes me feel like there is something fishy and again, what will you be doing for the past 14 years? You claim this man was there for you and everything. He, he has stand for you. He's lawyer. And now, I'm sure the guy is okay on his own, but fine. But right now, presently now, I'm sure Lizzie is richer than him. Lizzie is kind of financially balanced than him. So now, what was she doing all this while? Because me, I just felt like maybe then she didn't know the guy's value. Then it's now that she she realized she had been into different relationships. She realized no one can be loyal and love her, care for her as much as this guy do. That's why she have to come back and kind of marry this guy. But you should know that you've abandoned because the way Lizzie is doing, it seems to me that she's one that abandoned this guy then. So now you should know that this guy will have his own, move on with his life, and he will have his own family. That's the reason why I can't even deny, kind of, I can't doubt this alleged, because kind of, he's a guy. He had to move on with his life, and he had to have another family. Now, now that you realize this guy has his own family of his own, most you kind of come back. Is it that is this guy that is the only guy that can love you and be loyal to you? Do you have to come back and kind of, be part of his life again it's more it's not most and what were you doing for the past 14 years why didn't you get married to him 
Why now is now that you desperately want him in your life? Why now at your age? Why now? Because I, I really can't place it. I really don't know. Seriously, guys, I can't say those women that are coming out on social media, I can't say they're lying. I can't. I can't because he's a full-grown man. He's not a small guy. So we can't expect him to stay single or because uh, maybe Lizzie is not ready. It's not possible. It's not possible. So why can't she just... Is it that there's no any man that can be loyal and love you the way this guy did? That will make you to come back and be his fourth, whatever, sixth, whatever? Because... I'm sure if you had married him then, you would have been his one and holy wife. So now that things did not turn out that way, maybe you want to also, maybe you claim you want to also, maybe you are not okay then, you've not met your goal then, then he has moved on with his life because I'm sure you guys have not been together like constant like maybe you guys have break up then you make up again before this marriage and everything so why can't you just move on with your life because the way i'm seeing this you claiming now that and you can accept your husband children even if they are your husband legitimate children or where i can't call them illegitimate because maybe he got married to those women too you were claiming that you can accept them, but my, Lizzie, this is not a child's play and it's not a movie. This is a lifetime contract. And are you sure you are prepared to accept those children? And are you so sure you are prepared to accept every complicating issue around this man? Because it seems to me that you, you involve yourself in this complicating marriage now, right now. Are you sure you are ready? Because the Lizzie I know, and you you were saying it some months back. Because I, you guys, guys, you can go on my previous video where I res respond to what she said on a, on a, one of her comments saying that claiming that she cannot marry a better man, she cannot marry a poor man, everything. Now I'm sure this man, particular man, you marry. Now you're even worse. This man, uh, he, he had a wife before and he's not even rich the way you ha you reach. He's not even richer than you. You are richer than you and everything and you still end up marrying him. For you to know life is not balanced. That's why you guys, when all the celebrities, when they want to talk about, they should reason. We should reason before we voice utter words. We should reason because we don't know the kind of, situ uh, kind of situation and everything we'll fall into. Now see your case now. Shamia, I wish you happy married life, oh, but I just hope you are prepared because this is a polygamous home. I hope you are prepared for it because you, listen, I know, is not patient, does not have patience. So I just hope you, God will give you the strength and I hope you give yourself the patience, you allow yourself to cool down around this home because. I just hope this marriage will last because marriage that is not up to that is not even up to three weeks that a lot of talks social media talks and everything are laid up and down uh, i just hope oh, this marriage will last because it seems to me that you desperately need your, a man in your life and this serves as a lesson to youth out there it's good to to also for your life as a woman it's good to be a career woman to work at least so at least two head is better than one but guys let's not forget that marriage is also important because at the end of the day you feel like your life is incomplete even at the end of the day when you've achieved everything you achieved what you wanted you realize you are not complete without a man in your life so i feel this will serve as a lesson to her because kind of now at her age she had to go back and be fourth fifth wife just imagine that so guys Comment in the comment section below what you feel about this issue. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button below until we meet again on our next video.